Burton Bar Public Library is located in downtown Phoenix in Arizona. The teen section of this library is referred to as Teen Central and is located on the fourth floor. The entrance to Teen Central can be seen here. This open glass door is the only public entrance and exit to the room. Uh, they do give the information that they do card people as Teen Central is only for people ages 12 to 18, while people of other ages are available to come in. One of the first things that you see walking into the room is a schedule of the month's events. You'd be able to pause here to read them if you wish. The collection scene here is the fiction section, which runs along the west wall a bit onto the north wall, which, apologies for the glare, is kind of hidden because of that. Uh, while there is an extensive established fiction collection, anyone looking for nonfiction would have to go to In this fiction area, there are also a couple of display shelves where there are books on display, as well as At the end of the fiction section, the part that was hidden by the glare in the earlier picture, we do have a couple of tables with mini displays on them, but which would be a good place to utilize as On the other side of the tables is the manga section. This is one of several shelves that do On the end of the semicircle reference desk facing the fiction More pamphlets, especially ones that are advertising College Depot, which is on the second floor. Seen here is a section with several guitars, a keyboard under the table, as well as a box full of Xbox games, which are all available for checkout for some of the special sections in this teen room. This photo is taken from in front of the reference desk, which I will add that I was not able to get a clear shot at, as I had agreed when I asked permission to film and take photos in this. On the other side of the reference desk is what is referred to as a living room space. As you can see here, there are magazines, which are also available for checkout as well for reading in the teen section, as well as a lot of The other half of the living room space can be seen here with kind of the rest of the armchairs. Uh, you can see the emergency X in the background as well. 
And one thing that the librarian told me that is something that happens with this living room space is that people can rearrange the area and they do have things such as poetry slams. This is the ceiling area of this living room space, the long bar at the There is a board on the northeast wall that has information on jobs that teens might be able to apply to or information on how to help get their careers and jobs started. Um, there's also, not seen here, a small ledge that runs beneath these boards that also have additional flyers. They here we have just a closer view of the emergency exit that was This is a part of the video section of the teen room. There are a total of four TVs that have access to games for Xbox and Wii. You are able to see the rules of this section that are posted right behind the TV on the right. A librarian who'd been showing me around beforehand did tell me that in order to check out the Xbox and Wii games and the controller, Past the video game section and facing inwards to the library, there is a small corner that does offer The reason that this space is more private is due to this particular flyer that's on the board, which gives privacy to teens who are looking up the information on certain tough topics that they may not want any. The main stretch of wall past that private corner that is on the south side of the building. Uh, the first thing that we see is the jam room. If you remember earlier, the guitars and keyboard that's able to be checked out, it would be utilized in this. The rules for the jam room are listed on the door to the room, including the information, if you can see on that last one, that does say it's just for making music. It is not a place to be a study room or to chat with friends or anything like that, which, while I think it's good for the rules of this particular room, does bring me to the fact that there are not any dedicated study rooms in this section, while it is a dedicated to After the jam session is a long stretch of wall that has 
displays that change every so often. Currently up on the wall is a chart for the best YA novel of 2018, which has pictures of popular young adult novels from last year that teens can vote on to decide their ultimate favorite novel from last year. The librarian who had been showing me around did mention that the previous one had been artwork that had been submitted by teens from Standing in the middle of the room is where all the computers are located. This is the first half. Uh, the long line of computers with the green wall behind them stretches out in a half circle that goes through the middle of the room. And there are The last section of the library is on a table which is just to the east of the door that we had come in on. So we made a full circle of the library at this point. The last thing that I wanted to include in this tour of Teen Central was something called Comfort Packs. This was located on that last table before the end of our tour of the library. The librarian explained these to me as something that teens are able to take uh, without checking out. They don't have to bring it up to the librarian or explain anything or their needs. Uh, if it's something that they need, they can just go ahead and take it, and that includes things like shampoo. Just a final note on some of the people that I saw using this teen space while I was at the library doing this tour. Uh, it was early in the morning on a weekday, so there were only a few teens in this section, and for the most part, several of them were on the computers, and as I was finishing up, a couple more were going towards the video game. So at this time of day, it seemed more towards the entertainment aspects, going by the conversation that I heard and the fact that they were going to be using video games. Um, since I was not there in the afternoon, I don't know exactly how busy it can get during traditional after school hours, but from what I saw,